Today, we are having a kayak race, but not the type you're used to. We went to a remote ski resort in the mountains of Wyoming and built a giant slalom course to race kayaks through. There's five gates spanning over a quarter mile of downhill, and the first one through the finish line wins. So this right here is our start. The start of death. <laughs> so in theory, this whole kayaking down white pine thing sounded like a great idea, but now that we're up here, looking down the hill, I'm actually terrified. Imagine being Isaac who yeah. hasn't even skied. This camera doesn't do it justice how no. intense this is. It's rough. All right, y'all, here's the strategy. Here's the plan. I'm gonna take it slow. Slow and steady wins the race, just like tortoise in the hare. I'm the tortoise, David's the hare. I'm just gonna crush Isaac into the, oh wait. Sure, he's an athlete. He ran track in school and all this bullshit. But I'm the one that's gonna shock the world being the tortoise that comes up from behind. He's from Florida. What do they even do there? Like pet alligators and go hang out in Walmart. Look, here's the thing. I just don't want to take these 10 second penalties by not making it through the gates. Right, you see the shirt right here? You see the shirt? I am Wyoming AF. <sighs> Let's go kick some ass, baby. Not gonna lie, man. Just for the sake of, of you viewers out there, I'm trying to keep my cool, but I don't think this is gonna end well. I'll let you do a redo. Should I just like keep going? Yeah. Okay. The race is still on. And this is the absolute worst place you could get stuck. This is like the one flat spot on the course, so it has no gravity. It's like the moon, a really, really snowy moon with bears. But Isaac knew that this one crucial mistake might cost him his spot in the Olympic trials for whatever the heck this sport is. So he got back in and powered through. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty disappointed with myself. You know, the whole slow and steady wins the race thing it doesn't apply when you're sliding down a steep, icy slope. I don't know, we'll see. It's harder than you think. I think David might uh, screw up even more and I'll still take the dub. We'll see. So earlier when we were messing around, Isaac tried doing a run with the kayak paddle and yeah, it, it didn't work, like, at all. Yeah, f these oars. Those don't do shit. But I know how dysfunctional Isaac can be, so I thought I'd try a run with the oar for myself, and no. <laughs> he doesn't have the oar! He left the oar! <laughs> no paddle is definitely the way to go. So I'm at the top, just about to do my run, and hopefully it goes better than Isaac's. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just stoked to see where this goes. Let's send it. I too fell victim to the anti-gravity flats, but unlike some competitors, I wasn't stuck in the trees. So, not gonna lie, I kind of crushed you. 
awesome. That is such a fun sport. Like, dude, I could seriously see this becoming like a s actual sport. But that's also not fair because you got to watch to see what my failures oh, were first. Ooh, I, and you I, could I knew perfect, where to fix it. You could perfect your own. By of course. Watching that. Excuses, so, excuses. I would have won. <laughs> All right, Isaac would have won. <laughs> so, yeah, that's our fun little game called uh, Snow Kayaking. Wow, that, that's dumb. Someone, someone come up with a better name in the comments, okay? Um, yeah, so that was fun. Uh, bye.